welcome back to my channel once again guys um, right now I want to show you how to remove um, a contract like a token from your Solana wallet just like we used to um, do on Algorand blockchain maybe a project rock pulled or something or turned zero or you sold it and you don't need the contract again so to claim back your gas fee sorry to came back uh, claim back your gas fee that you use for that particular token so you can just remove it from your solana wallet so i'll be taking you through how to go about this now and also the browser is still need is still the chrome browser yeah so that for this one as well i'll be showing you the links you need for for this this are some of the links you need i will be dropping it in the video description so that you can have access to the links and also run it yourself as well i have two different ways i use to um, remove assets from wallet so let do the one of them used to it's not very effective it all it's due to the fact that their site that's bone feeder is kind of slow so it takes time but let me just give it a try this night if it will go through let's see let me just paste it on chrome i've copied the wallet uh sorry i've copied the link so i'm pasting on you have to play pre, uh, place it on the browser that you're using for your um, solana block uh, solana wallet so i have my solana wallet on chrome that's why i'm pasting this here because it's automatically it will actually ask you to um um connect your wallet yeah so you click OK. So here you can see connect wallet here. You can see connect wallet. So that's what you need to do. You are connecting solet.io. This not extension. So solet.io. You click OK as usual. So I'm going to enter my password now. So I'm done entering my password. I'll unlock the wallet now. Click unlock and connect my wallet. It's connecting. So wallet is connected now, as you can see here. My wallet is showing here. So for everything to be alright. I would prefer we go to desktop desktop site so that it will show in this uh, um, desktop de <laughs> desktop view how could we pronounce that uh, so we have to uh, switch to uh, desktop view so that we can have a view of everything we have on this website so now it will still ask us to uh, actually connect again connect to it connect oops I still need to so I need to unlock wallet again connect so you can see you need to take note please here you can see different things but what you need to do now is to click balance at balance balances rather you click on balances So you can see my balances here so you can see the ones you can also click two assets with zero balance those are the assets here this one's with zero balance you can just look for one that is useless i don't need it okay let me you click here to see those that have zero balances this ones so once you click it to show the ones that have, you can see they are not much now so you see the ones that have zero 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 that they have nothing to show red that you should you should put them in the bin so to delete so i'll just click one of them let me click the no i won't click usdc i need usdc eventually so let me use this let me use this so once you click on it now you see you just approve and it automatically deletes so that means you've deleted that one 
<coughs> if you want to delete more you can still delete you can see that my um, solana changed after removing that one from 1.15 to 1.33 so the the gas fee that they've charged me for the token that is just i do there now has been returned back to my balance that's what it means so that's one of the that's one of the means of removing assets from solana so let me show you another way of doing that so we are done with this one we are done with bomb feeder actually this is bomb feeder we are done with it the wallet has been disconnected again so we are actually done with it so i don't really need it anymore so now let me show you the second one this is the second one this is what you need for the second one this this javascript uh, so, so thing. that's what you need for the second one so once you click on it right now you copy i've copied it and then i will now go to my same web browser where i have my solana wallet and i'll just paste this same thing paste it there all these links eh, i'll drop them for you in the um in the video description so don't worry you'll get them all so what you need to do is you just don't go directly to search once you paste this on um, solana blog um, uh, sorry on on google chrome just click on this um, search button click on the search button once you click on the search button as i just did so sorry that i keep pushing the video because i need to work on my password i have some password issue so here now just to show you back what you actually need to do is for you to get it right don't paste directly like this the way i just pasted don't paste like this directly you might be having issues using this uh, particular uh, javascript but if you want to use it what you need to do is after you copy uh, this address maybe from the video description i'm going to drop the next thing you need to do is use your clipboard this this clipboard that's all we all know what clipboard is so once you copy to clipboard you click on the clipboard sign you can see the item i copied so since you've seen the item i copied now what you just need to do is click on the item itself click on it so once you click on it you can see you have two different options here and the one you need right here is this use this one not the search not the one with search logo so it is that one with the round ball you use just click on it and search okay let me let me do that again or let me use a new tab instead use a new tab oh sorry i'm doing the same mistake again copy to clipboard copy from clipboard the search i don't know so it seems my network is bad So as I said earlier, you can actually use um, a different tab. You can use the same tab. Anyone? Let me use. I'll be using the same tab. So let's just do this. Um, you copy from clipboard. You paste. You paste from clipboard. You don't. If you paste directly like this, it might not work. It will not even work. It will not work. So instead of that paste what you have on your clipboard here and let me highlight it this is it what you have here paste it that's what you need to paste click on paste you can see 
then click on the one with this circle not the one with sad sign this one is what you need then you click on it <clears throat> so you can see it did not it did not even load what's next we do now do now is what you do next is look for items that are zero 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 that don't have any value at all you see like this shimu this one this shimu you can see it has zeros it has no value so once you click on it you see option for delete so you can see but on the normal day on the normal ground for example let me go to normal normal um, normal solana wallet let me go to normal solana wallet you see that it's different let me go to a normal solana wallet solana solet.io sorry solet.io So this is another different one. I just want to show you so that you know that it's not. So you can see this one. If I should click on this, you can see it's only showing receive and send. This is a different wallet, though receive and send is what you'll be seeing that's if it's just normal wallet but now since i you i used that uh, that particular uh, uh javascript code that i pasted on the web that's why you cannot see on these zeros in this zero value assets it can show delete now so once i click delete <coughs> you see i cannot delete it now I don't want to do it because I actually run a drop with this um, token. So I'm hope I'm just being hopeful if I'll get the airdrop or not. But once I delete it now, uh, they will know. Once they try to send a drop to me, the admin trying to send the airdrop might be getting an error that this person has not added the um, contract to his wallet. So automatically, I will be disqualified from getting that airdrop. So I won't want such to happen. But that's just the way of um, actually deleting tokens from your wallet. And that's make sure it's not a token you need before you delete. It's very very important. Yeah. So thank you very much for watching. Um, my next video will now be on um, since we've already done how to create a Solana wallet. Now you've seen how to remove uh, unwanted tokens from your wallet. So the next video also will still be on some uh, actual aspect of um, Solana as well. So just turn on notification. You see the next video I'll be I'll be dropping soon. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button if you are a new viewer. And also if you uh, I will I expect all viewers, both um, old and new viewers, to like click the like button also turn on notification and also please um try to share with your family and friends and i just pray um you do because it's really go a long way to promote the um, channel so thank you very much for your time thank you i really appreciate it